Finally, we get a break from the two game slates. Welcome back to Brave Birds DFS, one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course DFS. If you don't know by now, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. So we actually have a real slate today. It is an 11-game slate. They're taking a pause between the quarterfinals and semifinals. I guess so the teams can fly, I think, to Vegas. So we have a full slate today. And for the people who are not new to my channel, yes, I'm not wearing a hat. There's a YouTuber that my mom watches, and that YouTuber said that hats are makeup for men. Well, you're about to see me without my makeup and my size eight head glory. All right, so let's get into this analysis. So the way I do this, I break this up into five parts. You can see on the screen that I have the super studs. Those are the players that are over 10K. Then I have the studs. Those are the players that are 8K to 10K. Then I have the mid range that is 6K to 8K. Then I have the value 4K to 6K. And finally, we have the super value. So I'm recording this around noon. Eastern time, so there could be some value that opens up between now and lock. So always check your lineups before lock, which I mentioned in my lineup video that I just flashed on the screen. All right, so the first super stud is Joel Embiid. Look here, this ain't the time to get cute. I mean, I'm not a fortune teller, and the only thing that's guaranteed, guaranteed of taxes and debt, nonetheless. The Philadelphia 76ers are playing the Washington Wizards. The Washington Wizards are the organ donors of DFS. Like if you need an organ, if you need DFS points, you play the Washington Wizards. Now, of course, it could be a blowout. But if you look at Embiid's game logs, even in blowouts, he still lunches. So I can't guarantee anything because I don't know the future. He could twist his ankle on the first play of the game. They could do some kind of weird game script. It might be a mega blowout. And he gets pulled in the second quarter of this game against the Washington Wizards. But let me tell you, outside of something wacky, Joel Embiid is the super stud of the day. All right, my other super stud is, uh, is Jokic. So now Jokic, his salary is 12500 so that makes me a little nervous because to return value at 12500 he needs at least 63 fantasy points, and he's done that four out of the last five games, including two games where he scored over 80 fantasy points. So if you're trying to say, you know what, I don't want to do the Embiid thing because everybody's going to have Embiid in their lineup. I'm going to do the Jokic thing. I don't think it's the craziest you know, choice in the world. All right, let's go to the studs. And so now we have Terry Rozier and LaMelo Ball is out. So that usage is going to go to someone. It's going to get spread around, but I really like Terry Rozier's uh, matchup against the Bulls today. Uh, his his uh, his goal, his value goal at 8,100 is about 40 to 41 points. And he's done that only two out of the last five games, but he's done it in back-to-back -back games. And he got really close against Orlando and the Pacers. So definitely 8,100. He's definitely someone that you should sprinkle into your lineups. Also, also next we have Mikael Bridges. You need to be careful because Miles Bridges is also on this slate. And yo, I think Miles Bridges is also a good choice because once again, we just talked about ball being out and Miles Bridges will get some of that usage. But I'm going to choose his brother Mikael over over miles we can see his game logs and see that he has been turning it on the last five games he's playing the hawks i'm a big hawks fan this is brave burst dfs the hawks are one of the birds i think in my background you can see my hawks gear all that stuff <laughs> let me tell you that being said the hawks have decided that they're not going to play defense this year so when the other team is actually trying to score all of the Hawks players just text their girlfriends and wives. And then after they make the shot, they put their cell phones back in their pockets and actually, you know, go and try to play some offense. So the, the Nets are playing the Hawks. So really any net player <laughs> that's, you know, decent is a good pick today. But I'm going to single out Mikael Bridges against my Hawks in Atlanta. 
All right, next we have, you know, Franz Wagner with a W. So he has been turning it on in the last five games. At 7,900, we need him to get about 39 or 40 points. And he has done that, basically done that in all five games. He almost, he missed a goal by a little bit against Brooklyn and he had 37 against Boston. But at 7,900 going against this high pace, you know, game against uh, Cleveland, I really like him as a stud. Let's move to the mid range and you have Jalen Williams. So Jalen Williams, um, Houston is a pace down spot. So their pace is very slow, but Jalen Williams has been trending in the right direction at 6,400. He only needs about 33 points to return value. And he's done that three out of the last five games. He did have that dud against the Timberwolves, but He's someone that I think, especially on 11 game slate, he's going to probably be in the low, low, you know, five, four percent as far as ownership. So I really like putting him into your lineups. And then we have the other bogey. And, you know, I say this because I'm a Hawks fan, so I'm sure people in Detroit are like the other bogey. No, you're a Hawks player. He's the other bogey. But anyway, you have uh, Bogdanovich. He's come back from injury. His first game back from injury, he had 22 fantasy points with a salary of 5,100. He just needs 25 points to actually reach his value goal. And I think that they'll continue to increase his usage, and he should be able to do that against Memphis. All right, so now you have Jabari Walker. So he is value that's happening because Grant Wood, Grant not Grant Williams, uh, Jeremy Grant's going to be out, and also you're going to have Aiden out of the lineup. So you're going to have Jabari, you know Jabari Walker. He's probably going to play closer to 30 minutes than his usual 24 minutes. At 4400, we need him to get about 22 points. He's only done that in two out of the five games, but we can see that when he gets in the right zone, he can actually be someone that can, you know, average well more than a fantasy point per minute. We saw he did that against the Jazz and, you know, we have seen some duds, but I really like him in this spot because they got to put people on the court. All right, so now we're getting to our super studs. So these are the players that are under 4,000, and we're going to stay with Portland. We're going to stay with Reith because we've already talked about that Aiden is out of the lineup. So on average, he gets between 10 and 20 minutes. At 3,200, we only need him to get 16 points, and he's done that two out of five games, but he's going to get more. He should get more minutes than normal and then our final super stud is the italian stallion uh, a former hawk my favorite former hawk let me just tell you if you're having a bad day go on youtube and just search the you know danello gallinari italian stallion and i promise you the rest of your day is going to be good uh his salary is 3800 we've already talked about the wizards are going to be playing uh the 76ers so there's a very high likelihood that there will be a blowout and so when i was at the wizards hawks game probably a week or so ago when the wizards uh get blown out get blown out sometimes which happens a good amount of time they actually pulled their starters in the end of the third quarter they didn't even let their starters play the fourth quarter so it could be a situation like that where gallinari gets more than 20 minutes maybe 25 minutes just depending on how this uh, 76ers wizards game goes I hope that video helped you. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll talk to you next time.